Hello again modelers and welcome back to the Gearhead Workshop. And uh, as you can see what we got on the bench here is uh, the uh, Red October Tribute build that we're doing with the Hobby Boss 1350 uh, Soviet cell. The Typhoon class. And uh, I'm going to kind of try and keep this kind of short. I just want to get an update out on where we're at with this mm -hmm. thing. Uh, obviously we're in primer now. Uh, I've gone over this thing and sanded it. And, put down a coat of Tamiya fine surface primer on everything we've added all of our other little parts on um, this thing's kind of big to fit in the camera so hopefully this is going to come through um, we've added these two little fins back here at the rear that are kind of prominent on the, on the red October and we've installed our, our upper rudder fin and made up a kind of what we could come up with to simulate the uh, toad sonar array that goes on the top of that fin and we've added our pitch fin that I kind of had to scratch built to match uh, the Red October, what it looks like. Uh, it's very different. Most of the rear end is different from the stock Typhoon sub. And uh, we've added in the, uh, the prop shafts and the little stub fins off the prop shafts to look like the Red October. And I think I covered in the last update, we've you know pretty much got our um, stuff for the Caterpillar drive put in, which is the exhaust back here and the intakes in the, up in the front. And uh, the conning tower is all done now and looking good. And uh, we went in and installed all the missile bay doors in and the two hatches, one in the front and one in the back here for the crew to get in and out. So basically, uh, like I said, I'm going to keep it kind of short because there's not much, too much to say. I just wanted to get an update out there about what it's looking like now. And probably our next move on this is going to be probably to sand it again. You know, fine sand it with some like six or 800 paper and maybe reprime it one more time. And uh, then we'll probably uh, be into masking it for the, the two-tone that... Um, the studio model has which is kind of a light gray on the bottom half and above the belt line it's kind of like a medium or a darker gray on the top and then maybe we'll go back in and maybe do some kind of wash or highlighting on all the limber holes I decided not to open all those up uh, they're, they're recessed so if they're you know washed or detail painted I think they'll show good enough and uh, then after that, uh, the only other thing we really got to do is uh, go back in and install the props we made uh, that uh, match up with the Red October, which uh, you'll see that see those once they get installed. They were kind of a kind of a pain to make out of the kit parts, but uh, I think we got a good simulation of what uh, the Red October props look like to go with now. And uh, I guess uh, real quick and other things, uh, probably pretty soon here. Uh, as you guys know that follow the channel, we're doing a 1350 uh, Klingon Katinga. Uh, we're getting some stuff together for that now. I already did uh, kind of an overview video of the kit parts. And uh, probably what will be next is we'll, we'll go back over some of the kit parts and explain, um, you know, what we're going to use for lighting and some of the spots on the ship. And uh, I might do a couple of little light tests of uh, some stuff I've worked out already. And uh, we're getting, I'm getting ready to order some of the lighting supplies and get the wiring coming for that. And um, I hate to say yeah, um, but um, we're going to try and put lasers in the thing for uh, disruptors. Um, it's kind of a gamble on the hull space whether they're going to work. We're not really going to know until we get those in there and get them aimed out of uh, the orifice that they'll, they'll exit from as to whether they're going to clear the hull or not. I've got my fingers crossed it looks like they're going to work but it's going to be really close if uh, if it so happens that the uh, the lasers don't work out if we don't have space for them I've got a backup plan with SMDs that we're going to use but uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for the lasers because uh, that would be really cool if we can work out the lasers and uh, I guess for now like I said I'll keep it short I'll, I'll cut my yammering off now I just wanted to get an update out on this and let everybody know where I'm at with that and uh, hopefully before too long uh, you'll be seeing another update on the uh, the big rig group build um, I'm kind of like in a stall mode right now until I get some more things I wanted for that um, you know one thing is from Shapeways and uh, just get a little more head on it but uh, things are going good on it so hopefully the next update you know you'll see a little progress on some things so, I guess for now, everybody, uh, 
take care uh, have fun with your bills and uh, peace